Hello, my dears. How are you doing? I hope you're just fine. Today, our lesson will be regarding one of the four skills of English, which is writing. So please go to your books, English World Book, and open it to page 69. So page 69 in your English World Book, and look at the title of our lesson for today which is writing features and we should be able to write a travelogue right after discussing our lesson for today but before that let's go back to our comprehension lesson which was on page um 64 go to page 64 and here look at the title Istanbul a city of two continents and it was written by Karen Redvers so this was a travelogue okay regarding Istanbul go back to uh, page 69 and as we know before the meaning of the word travelogue is um, a movie, book, or a lecture about the places visited and experiences encountered by a traveler. And this definition, we explained it before, but I just wanted to remind you of it. So here, let's follow up with me, please, in order to understand how to write a uh, travelogue because every one of you will write me his own travelogue. Let's read together. A travelogue. The article on Istanbul is a personal account of the writer's visits to the city. She has described it in detail, given some historical information about it and written about what she likes and dislikes about it. She has not just researched it from books or the internet. She has actually been to Istanbul and experienced the city firsthand. What does that mean? Let's go back and explain it. So, as we said that we uh, read an article or a travelogue regarding Istanbul, by Karen Rivers and they say that it is a personal account of the writer's visits to the city so she visited the city she went to Istanbul and then she wrote this article or this travelogue so a personal account okay من حسابها الشخصي من her experience شو حطت فيها she has described charhat in detail with tafasil given some historical information. So, awal ishi atatna malumat tarikhiye an Istanbul. Tani ili ibana an facts. Okay? And written about what she likes and dislikes. So, she also gave us her opinion. Okay? Regarding Istanbul. She has not just researched it from books or the internet. معناته بس هي هي مش انها طلعت المعلومات هاي من خلال الانترنت او من الكتاب عن اسطنبول. She has actually been to Istanbul. راحت على اسطنبول and experienced واختبرت the city first hand. يعني هي جابت هاي المعلومات من المصدر مباشرة. من المصدر مباشرة. تمام؟ uh, وهذا الاشي اللي احنا لما نحكي she has lived the experience عاشت التجربة she has lived the experience alright how am I going to write the travelogue how am I going to write it here we have a checklist or a rubric in order to help you to write your travelogue so number one is the introduction 
Look again at the article Istanbul, a city of two continents on page 62 and 63 in order to help you understand this checklist. And we said that number one is the introduction. Let's read. The introduction is the introduction to the travelogue. There isn't much point in reading about a place if you don't know where in the world it is. What does this statement mean? It means that you have to know where is this place located. When, okay, موقعه في العالم. So it's the location of the place. It's the location of the place. Here, the writer begins by explaining where Istanbul is. As an example, at the eastern end of Europe. etc. تمام؟ so أول إشي بالintroduction لما أنت تحكي عن المنطقة اللي أنت بدك تحكي عنها تمام؟ لازم تحكي إنه وين موقعها على الخريطة وين موقعها في العالم number two first person and number three second person what does that mean? here when you write and when you write about your experience You should use pronouns. The first person here using the pronoun I or my or me, okay, as a subject, an object, or um, in the ownership place. So, here the first person. This is a personal account and is written in the first person. Little example, I. So I have to use the uh, pronoun I or my or me in order to express my writing. And an example of that, I've always found it and etc. Or to me and etc. Or for my liking or I am not fond of it. Here are other examples. In order to explain the first person more. And why did we write in the first person? Because we are telling our experience. Because we are living this experience and we are talking about it. Second person, which is using the pronoun you. And why do we use the second person The writer uses the second person to draw the reader in. To draw the reader in. And this means to attract the reader and make them want to visit Istanbul. As an example, will be just right for you. If you get the chance to visit it, all right? If you get the chance, if you get the chance, And uh, other examples, you will see houses, you want to shop. So the second person is an important uh, type of writing in the travelogue in order to attract the reader and draw the reader in. Tamam. Let's go to the fourth uh, point. of the checklist which is tenses what are the tenses that we are going to use while writing our uh, travelogue the writer uses present tenses when writing about Istanbul as it is now يعني بيحكي عنها بصيغة الحاضر تمام لأنه عماله بيحكي عن شو هي هلا as an example there is a vast and Fascinating city. Okay, هلا اللي هي عبارة عن مدينة ضخمة ومدينة رائعة. She also uses past tenses when writing about how it was, about the history of it. Okay, كيف كانت? As an example, armies besieged and captured the city. And another example, it is separated in the past. Okay, became was. established became a most a mosque was established so here the uh, 
writer used present tenses and past tenses. Now we come to the fifth point of the of our checklist which is um information i want as a writer to uh, give information information in this type of writing can include historical and the present day facts so they are facts that are divided into two parts historical أو حقائق تاريخية and the present day و إيش الحقائق اللي هلا okay الحاضرة اللي هلا إحنا عملنا من إيشها such as historical لما تكون تاريخية the city itself was established a thousand years earlier منعتو إيش عملوا من بيحكوا عن إنتانية اتأسست تمام thousand years earlier so this is a historical event and an example regarding the present day event land and houses are expensive الحديث هلا البيوت والاراضي اوكي غاليه so here the facts they okay could be historical facts or present day facts personal opinion the sixth point is personal opinion اللي هو الراي الشخصي حكينا عنها هنا بالاول حكينا انه الرأي الشخصي an important aspect of a personal account is that the writer expresses opinions بيحكي عن his opinion الرأي الشخصي اللي إله these can be positive opinions اللي هو ممكن يكونوا اشياء ايجابية such as I find it truly uplifting okay or another example one of my favorite buildings or these can be negative opinions اللي هو أراء سلبية and as an example traffic is one of my least favorite things اللي هو الترافيك والأزمة هو كان من الأشياء الأقلية المحببة عندي تمام alright and the last point that we should take into consideration while writing our travelogue is description so if i want to write about a place i should write or describe and explain this place the writer's opinion is also expressed okay through descriptive words and phrases so it's a descriptive essay we have to describe we have to put details regarding this uh, place uh, historical present day um, events all right we have to describe this place so we will be using a lot of adjectives such as beautiful magnificent Horns blaring and smelling like old oil cans. هنا لما حكينا like معناته إحنا هنا استخدمنا المتافور. أنا أجيت أشبه أشبه إشي بإشي to symbolize. Okay, symbolism. اللي هو أنا بدي أرمز لا إشي بإشي ثاني. مثلاً when I say the flag, it represents Jordan. مثلاً. تمام. Okay. So now, after we are done with explaining our checklist, um, let's go and have a summary regarding this uh, lesson. So let's all look at the board and let me okay explain what's on it. So our lesson was about writing on page 69 and it was it is about writing a travelogue tamam um here when i say writing a travelogue there are or there is a list that i should take into consideration in order to know how can i write my travelogue 
and the first one is the introduction and I should include the location of the place I want to write about okay number two is my personal okay opinion which um, it could be positive the things I liked regarding this uh, place or the things that I disliked being negative let's go to the first person the thing or when I am writing I should use the pronoun I as a subject or if it was an object I should use me or if it was regarding position I should use my because I am talking about my experience regarding this place that I visited and a second person I use the second person in order to attract the reader to draw the reader in so I use the pronoun you the tenses I use also or I should be using uh, are two which are the past place in the past okay how it was and the present how it is now and here I should use a descriptive language so descriptive words and phrases to express opinions so now I should be using a lot of um, adjectives in order to explain my travelogue here we have also the information that I will be including in my travelogue and this information could be historical so from the past or in the present time or in the present time so here on the board the steps or the points that I should take into consideration in order to write my travelogue so please copy these on your notebooks and use them while writing your travelogue and now let's go back to our book in order to explain to you your um, assignment so here is your writing assignment but this assignment we will talk about it later because you have to go first to go to page 66 in your workbook for help with your planning so in this section okay we will plan our travelogue and in the second section of our lesson which will be tomorrow and after I explain to you the sample that I wrote for you guys all right we will be um, writing our own uh, travelogue تمام so هلا راح يكون في عنا uh, two sections la the um, writing or the homework awal wahad li huwa biddi ana akhattat okay la travelogue li ana biddi aktubo at-takhtit hada aw inyo ana akhatt al-information lazim nruh ala uh, al-workbook li huwa sabha 66 okay and let's have a look at our um, assignment here writing planning your writing assignment you are now going to write your own personal account your own travelogue choose a town or city you know well اختار واحدة من البلدان او المناطق اللي انت اوكي زرتها ممكن تكون بالاردن وممكن تكون برا الاردن حسب اوكي بجوز في ناس منا مسافر على تركيا على الشام على لبنان على مصر على او داخل الاردن مثلا رايح على البحر الميت رايح على البترا على وادي رم تمام يو كان رايت اباوت اني بليس 
you won't اوكي بس ايش انك انت تكون زائره علشان انه انت تعرف تكتب اوكي فروم يور اكسبيرينس من التجربه اللي انت عشتها بهذيك المنطقه write a personal account giving information a detailed description اول شيء information معلومات detailed ex- uh, description اللي هو ف- اللي هو شرح مفصل and expressing your opinion واعطاء رايك بهذا المحل you are going to write about a town or city you know well begin by making notes تاخذ ملاحظات of what you already know do some research so you can include other interesting facts كمان اوكي okay, لانه مثلا الاشياء التاريخيه ممكن انه انت ما تكون تعرفها so ابحث اوكي okay, google it go online and write uh, about the information that you want to include in your travelog and as we said we have to take into consideration a couple of points in order to help us write our travelog so the first one is the introduction and here they are giving you a couple of the questions in order to help you all right um, planning your travelog so here as an example where is the town or the city Where is it? Where is it located? Okay, which country? Be a بلد. Which continent? Be a um قارة. Is it near a river? Be جنب um نهر. Be جنب mountain. Be جنب صحراء. Okay, make brief notes. Put notes صغيرة. Okay, phrases. تمام. In order to help you. Here the first person. حكينا بدي أحكي بال I. هون the second person حكينا بدي أحكي you you should go you should visit uh, it will be amazing for you if you did مثلا إنه if you traveled by the boat over there تمام التنسز حكينا we uh, should use two types of tenses which are the past and the present go here الانفورميشن الفاكتس حكينا اشياء هيستوريكال اند بريزنت دي البيرسونال اوبينيون اشياء بوزيتيف وات اي لايك اند اشياء نيجاتيف وات اي ديس لايك ريجاردينغ ذيس بليس اند ذا ديسكريبشن اوكي يوز ا لوت اوف ادجكتيفز وندرفول بيلدينغز اكسايتينغ انترستينغ بريث تيكينغ اوفر كراودد نويزي ديرتي ديفيكولت تو Uh, get around okay so here is the first section of your homework اللي هي planning your travelogue تمام and the second section will be given to you okay after I explain my sample to you which will be tomorrow's lesson And it is a continuation of today's lesson, which is how to write a travelogue. So, uh, please listen to the video and try to uh, plan your travelogue. And then for tomorrow's lesson, you will be doing this writing assignment. which is you have read and discussed a personal account of the writer's visits to Istanbul. You are now going to write your own personal account. Choose a town or a city you know well. Write a personal account giving information, detailed description, and expressing your opinion. Tamam. So, plan your travelogue. And I will be following with you in the second section.